Do you suffer from headaches? In this video, I'm gonna share with you seven tips to combat headaches. And if you stick around at the end, I'll throw in an eighth. We're gonna start that learning right now. Howdy, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center speaking to you today about seven tips to combat headaches, a very common problem in MS. If this is your first time uh, seeing a video on this channel, thank you very much for coming. Please make sure to subscribe and click that notifications button so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. Tip number one, drink more water. It sounds silly, but in reality, most of us spend all day long dehydrated, and that can exacerbate headaches significantly. I recommend that you drink a, a glass of water with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then I ask that you add one glass of water between breakfast and lunch and between lunch and dinner. And that's going to start you on the road to drinking adequate fluids. This will keep you volume up and will decrease headaches. Number two is daily exercise. Exercise diminishes headache frequency substantially. And if you haven't taken advantage of this tip, I implore you to do so. Get out there and do some walking, raise your heart rate. What you'll find is that daily exercise diminishes your headache frequency. Pretty awesome stuff. Number three, evaluate the ergonomics of your workstation. If you spend eight hours a day sitting typing at a computer and your head is crooked, your shoulders are hunched, your arms are twisted, you have bright fluorescent lights, you may be creating an environment without knowing it which is setting you up for headaches. Take a look at the ergonomics of your environment. Some companies actually have ergonomic officers that can evaluate things. The point is, make sure that you're not contributing to the problem by the way that you're sitting. Number four, many of us don't eat three regular meals. Our blood sugar levels plummet and then they skyrocket and they plummet and it's a mess. If you're suffering from headaches, I encourage you to eat a real breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. And you'll find that by eating regularly throughout the day, you diminish your headache frequency. Number five, be cautious about overusing abortive medicines. Abortive medicines are things like Tylenol and Excedrin migraine, etc., that we take to try to break a headache. If you're taking abortive medicines more than twice a week, you risk creating what's called a rebound headache, where your body gets used to the medicine. You take it, it hurts less, it wears off and hurts more, and so then you take it again and you create this positive feedback cycle. You want to avoid that cycle and limit abortive medicines to no more than twice weekly. Number six, when you feel the very first inkling of a headache as early as possible, that's when you want to take an abortive medicine with a big glass of water. Many of us wait to see if it'll go away. We'll just say, well, I'll check on it in a couple hours. By that time, the headache has fully materialized and it's full born and it's really hard to treat. Instead, the moment you think you might have a headache, that's when you want to try to intervene. You'll find that the abortive medicines work much, much better that way. Number seven is ensuring that you have adequate sleep and good sleep hygiene. Now, I have a video on sleep hygiene and I'll put a card up here and I'll list it down below uh, in the description. But in essence, if you're not getting good restorative sleep, and you're sleep deprived, it's yet another trigger to worsen headaches. Seriously looking at your sleep quality and quantity is a great way to diminish headaches. Now, you've made it to the end of the video and as promised, here is an eighth tip. Keep a headache log. If you have headaches seven days a week and you do some interventions and now it's only six days a week, you won't realize that things are slightly better. What I encourage people to do, either in their phone or on their calendar, is when they have a headache that day, just mark that they had a headache, write down how bad it is, one through ten, and then write down if they notice a trigger. Now you're going to go back to your headache log and look a month at a time and look for triggers. You may find that every time you have Chinese food, the next day you have a headache. Every night you work third shift, you always have a headache. If you can identify triggers like that, you can change things behaviorally and markedly reduce headaches. There you have it, folks. Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center, sharing eight tips to combat headaches. I hope that you like this video, and I would love for you to leave your comments and questions below. Until next time, take care.